The legacy of Dr. Alton Ochsner Sr. is best framed by something he often said to his students and colleagues. Don't forget that you are treating people. You are not treating disease, but people. Born five years after his parents left Wisconsin to help settle a town that had sprung up along the railroad line, from an early age, Alton Ochsner was a precocious student. One of his greatest influences, his distant cousin, A.J. Ochsner, was a famous surgeon in Chicago who took Alton under his wing and recommended he pursue an M.D. from Washington University in St. Louis. Following graduation, he continued to mentor Alton, helping him travel to Europe where he would learn from revered German and Swiss surgeons. In January 1927, at the age of 30, Alton Ochsner received a letter from Dean Bass of Tulane University inviting him to interview for the position of Chairman of the Department of Surgery. Even though Tulane did not have its own hospital, once granted the position, Alton succeeded in organizing one of America's premier surgical programs at New Orleans Charity Hospital. Among his innovations were teaching from current journals rather than textbooks and developing the bullpen, a revolutionary method of training student doctors to practice thinking critically under great stress. A man of uncompromising integrity, his time at Charity Hospital came to an end when he refused to hire friends of Governor Huey P. Long for positions they were not qualified to hold and was fired and banned from the facility for two years. In 1942, Ochsner and four Tulane colleagues started the Ochsner Clinic. Today, Ochsner Health System has grown into a model health care provider, owning, managing, and affiliated with 30 hospitals and over 80 health care centers across the Gulf Coast. It currently employs over 18,000 professionals and serves patients in every parish in Louisiana as well as many others from around the world. Throughout his career, he was an editor for numerous medical publications and an honorary professor and fellow at countless universities. He sat as president or chairman for nearly every major medical society in the world, authored several books and over 600 essays and articles, including one that first proposed the link between smoking and lung cancer and continued to lecture well into retirement, all while maintaining a home as a loving husband and dedicated father of four. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Alton Ochsner, Sr.